here. Now to an update in the story of a young Eagle River boy who has waited for years for a new heart. CBS 11's Todd Walker joins us with more. Todd? Well, Dave, on the family's blog to update the public on Sean Stockwell's status, they say they almost lost him last night. Sean's mom, writes, uh, Sean's mom, Trista, writes that he was having a difficult time breathing last night, and doctors decided to reinsert a breathing tube, but he began to crash and nearly flatlined. His parents were moved out of his room as doctors rushed in and out for nearly 20 minutes. They heard the word code shouted, which, mean, which she says meant her son was dying. The crash cart was brought in with defib defibrillator paddles. Doctors eventually came out and told him that they did have to perform CPR on Sean, but he is still alive. The family says he is in critical condition now and that his body is rejecting his heart. They say he is now hooked up to a new machine to clean out the antibodies in his system, in his blood, but it brings a higher risk for infection now because it will drop his immune system even more. So, Dave, it's a pretty heartbreaking story, but Sean is still alive tonight. All right, and we will certainly hold out hope for young Sean.